Hi everybody! I am Simone from Hodio Modeling and I'm here with Andrea. Hi! From Hodio Modeling as well. Andrea is uh, our product specialist for Zwam and Camelot Pro. And uh, today we have uh, uh, recorded, uh, in my opinion, a, a, an amazing performance from Andrea. <laughs> we enjoy <it> very much. <laughs> 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 no, th thank you very much because Andrea played uh, great uh, songs from movies and then uh, I think uh, an incredible uh, suite from uh, Bach. Most of, uh, of the software instruments that um, has been used by Andrea are uh, from Swam, from yeah. Swam instruments. And everything was uh, uh, connected together and played it together with, uh, with Camelot Pro. So. And that was able in real time to combine different sounds from different uh, software instruments, yes. correct? Yes, correct. I made uh, uh, two songs. One is this, mm, the cello suite and uh, the other one is the soundtrack one. Okay, so basically you, uh, you made one set list. Yes, yeah. one set list uh, like uh, a gig. My yeah. gig is with the two songs yeah. now, a little uh, gig. <laughs> and uh, the first uh, song is uh, my soundtrack, yeah. where I have uh, three scenes. And every scene is one of the three themes of the soundtracks. Okay, so the, the, the first song is made by three scenes, and in each scene there are three different sound Yes. Uh, setup sound patches. Each one is used to play different uh, uh, songs, different uh, movie themes. Yes, correct? the first one is uh, Once Upon a Time uh, in America. Do you remember the uh, pan flute uh, theme? Ennio the famous uh, Ennio Morricone. Yeah, yeah. This one. Wow. And the second one is uh, Life is Beautiful, Piovani. And we have in this uh, scene a three acoustic uh, uh, instrument, uh, Zwam instrument. And the third one, uh, maybe the song uh, where I started, because uh, I started from the Blade Runner uh, preset uh, from uh, Cypher. I see. And uh, from there, uh, I created the rhythmic pad uh, with the sequencer in Cypher. I see. So basically, the Blade Runner team was the first one that gave you the idea, the idea to, yeah. to create this medley of soundtracks to, exactly. to show the, mm, the power of, of combining uh, the Rolly Civil Rise, Camelot and uh, Swam Instruments. Yes. And Cypher 2, because in Blade Runner we have uh, used the Cypher 2, correct? Yes. Correct. The first two scenes are uh, uh, based uh, on a Swam uh, yep. instrument. For this one, I take uh, a flute. Yep. And uh, in the GUI, I set uh, an ethnic sound. Ah, I see. So basically, now you are showing uh, how that scene has been made. Yes. So you have used two layers, correct? I yes. see the green one, layer one, and the, the purple. That layer two. So yes. on the green layer, uh, you have. I have the flute with the right hand. Ah, okay. I, I play the flute with the right hand, and with the left hand, I have a pad. Okay. Uh, can Can you show us? Wow. Okay. This one is cipher two. Yes. This okay. one is cipher. So when I move my finger up, wow, <laughs> amazing. You can uh, control uh, the pitch band expression. And uh, uh, how about uh, Swam? How did you tune this uh, particular uh, sound? Did you load a preset or a sample? No, that? no, no, no. I um, create an ethnic sound with the noise of the breath. I see. Very high. Uh, can you show us in the, yes. the GUI, please? Here in the style, ah, you can uh, choose a uh, from classic to ethnic wow. uh, to jazz and other one. So you, you can say also the overtone. So basically, the sound of Swam is created in real time. So it's not a sample based instrument. So you can change the style of the flute yes. without uh, real time. Is a um, an expressive uh, instrument, uh, like all the Swam instrument, uh, you have to uh, control the expression um, to play it, uh, to listen it. 
um, and so you can make a, a sound, uh, um, a very own personality sound yeah, when you play. So basically, it's uh, easier to translate your musical idea uh, into the sound that yes, you want. Correct? like a real instrument, right. maybe. But mm -hmm. you have an infinity of uh, possibilities. Yeah, endless to, to, possibility, to I see. So, uh, can you just move this, this, the style slider so just we can hear the difference? Yeah, here is uh, jazz. I go to the to the classic. Yeah, classic. You have a uh, less uh, less uh, noise. starting noise, yeah. breath noise, and, uh, and less overtones as well. Yes. Yeah. Here also uh, we have a two layer. So downstairs we have also the cipher pad. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. we can we can solo uh, swam, so we can hear only yes uh, only swam. Okay, perfect. Okay, correct. And so. So that that was too classical. Was yes, not the, too classic. the, the the musical idea that you had in mind. No. So you move the 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 style uh, slider in the opposite, uh, and then you have create an ethnic, an ethnic sound. If you want, you can uh, it's choose. Totally, to it's totally different. Yes. Wow. You can uh, control also the breath noise, uh, and uh, here you have a more breath noise. the key noise and so on you have uh, a lot of possibility to have uh, your own sound for each uh, in a swam instrument in the second scene in the theme of uh, life is beautiful i have three acoustic uh, instrument uh, by swam here life is beautiful with the camelot and uh, on the key range view i put uh, on the right side of the seaboard uh, the clarinet Wow. In the middle, I have the English horn, and uh, at the left side of the seaboard, I have uh, the cello. Okay, cool. So I can play together three instruments, acoustic instruments, that I prepared uh, always with a little reverb to make, it, to make them more realistic. I see. And uh, changing the uh, expression curve for each one to make them more playable when you are on the seaboard. So basically, you, you made a fine tuning of the expression curve to, yes. uh, to adapt the, the response of the instruments uh, with the seaboard yes. and the, your your style of yes playing. your yeah. way to uh, to play on the seaboard I see. so you have a this cello clarinet and the English horn so okay, that they can uh, play together Yeah, can you show us also uh, the um, the cello suite? Yes, the second song. I have prepared the cello suite from back here. I have also here two scene. Why? Because I have to prepare the finale when the music need polyphony on the sound. We know that swimming strings are a solo instrument, yeah. but you can change this parameter if you want when you need the polyphony. So with the second scene, I prepared the polyphony swim cello. I see. So when uh, I arrive at that point, I can uh, change scene with uh, my mm, switch, pedal, yeah. switch pedal and uh, I can uh, play two chords, two strings, mm, two, two notes strings, yeah. at the same time. So, if I, uh, if I understood correctly, so basically Swam has, uh, can play in two modes. Can play in the solo mode, one, one note at a time, and then you have a switch uh, that allows you to to play two notes yes, at a time. Like the real instrument, yeah. you play one string at a time, but when you want, you can play two strings at a time, like this. Wow. And the final of the cello suite is like this. Wow. 
So you use Camelot to load the two different setup of Swarm. Even if the sound was the same, so you were able to to switch in real time without yes. any just the, just one uh, one pedal. Yes. Also, on the first scene, uh, I have uh, two instances of uh, Swarm Cello in two layers because uh, to make more playable the final part of the, the Cello Suite uh, that uh, have, have a, has a, um, a repeated uh, note. I see. Um, and, to, and it was difficult to play uh, with the two hands. So with the, the left hand, I play one note. And uh, with the other, I can uh, play the repeated note. Yeah, that's a cool trick. Wow. Yes. It's a very interesting <laughs> trick. Cool. And uh, I have seen also that you were taking, a, sometimes you were taking a look to a score. Yes, because uh, it's a very long, <laughs> no, very long, but uh, it's a little longer piece, so... My memory, I, I am old, and so <laughs> <laughs> I can uh, attach uh, the score of uh, of this uh, piece. But also, you can uh, add uh, every uh, attachment you want, like uh, the words of of a song, the chord of the song, or, or um, simply you can uh, um, type your a note. Yeah. Uh, some more some gesture you need to do and so on yeah basically any any pdf or image can be attached to a camelot scene and also uh, camelot is capable to um, attach also uh, to apply your own annotation with small sticky notes yes like this way okay here you can type yeah all you want a gesture, a way to to play, or uh, simply a part of yeah. uh, the of yeah. the piece. I see, like this. Cool. Thank you very much, Andrea. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Simone. <laughs>